the, the desire to bring our brothers and sisters home is what is driving us to do this, this job. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I just wanted to have a conversation with you yeah. about some of the concerns. First of all, congratulations and thank you for so much for all your contributions yeah. that you have made uh, for the year of the return and everything that you have done. A lot of people don't know that all yeah. of the stuff that you have done yes. for uh, the Pan-African Village right. and all the initiatives that you have made. You gave the things that you have done yeah. um, as far as... Uh, there's a lot of concern going yeah. on about there's no more land available. Right. That's number one. And um, you showed me that you have ample, yes. ample. There's yes. nothing to worry about. No. Yeah, thank you very much for this interview. And I appreciate the effort you are making also. Really, we set up the Pan-African Bridge to support our brothers and sisters in the diaspora mm -hmm. and to uh, facilitate their coming home. And so the idea was to give free land to our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. because we as Africans um, have strong feeling that everyone must have a piece of land. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the land, the land that we have now belongs to our ancestors, it belongs to us and belongs to the future people. Mm -hmm. So it, everyone must be entitled to a piece of land. And so when we decided to bring our brothers and sisters from after about 400 years of slavery, uh, we thought that we should offer land so that it becomes a monumental gift for, for people to have access to and then for them to develop their burdens and so on to stay if they want to. So we started this project and um, that was somewhere 2019 uh, we started this project and we have had some some good um, successes although with our difficulties also. Um, but what I realized now is that and some people are also jumping on the bandwagon and, and also capitalizing on mm -hmm. some of the successes that we have made mm -hmm. and creating their own uh, communities mm -hmm. for, for diaspora. Uh, well, I have nothing against that, but the problem is with how these people, our brothers who are innocent, who are coming and have no idea of the rules and regulations of land acquisition in this country mm -hmm. and uh, well, probably the problem they might get into in dealing with uh, people like that. Um, so it's unfortunate that um, some people are leading some people into areas that they do not have full control over the land. Mm -hmm. um, we have what we call family lands, right? Mm -hmm. they, those have just the use of the land mm -hmm. and they are not capable of selling the land or leasing out the land without the authority of the of the king of the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can be a, um, a family head, and you can have access to land for your people. But when it comes to leasing the land, it has to be consented by the uh, the king. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that is the basic thing. And if you don't do that, people try to avoid that. But when you do that. Um, you cannot get your your um, what you call your burden and, run mm -hmm. registered mm -hmm. by the, the lands commission mm -hmm. because they will always request the consent of mm -hmm. the of the king of the area and the, the king and for Asimu, for instance. I have the full control of, of all the lands, irrespective of community they are. Mm -hmm. I have full control but because those lands have been um, registered with the Lands Commission. Mm -hmm. All the lands of our civil state are under the stool, mm -hmm. under, under my stool. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, I'm the only person to give consent to um, um, to lease of land. Mm -hmm. Even though families and communities, um, chiefs, my sub-chiefs, divisional chiefs, they can, they can give land. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, our, if the person intends to register those lands, then I will have to consent to it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that is the bottom line. And the, the fact that if people do not go through the proper channels, they might encounter difficulties um, some time to come. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's the, the reason why I decided to do the Pan-African Bridge myself, mm -hmm. to have complete control over it so that people do not run into difficulties. Mm -hmm. So my advice to anybody coming to Ghana and wanting to be at Pan-African Bridge, 
we have a, um, clear lines of interaction with us. Mm -hmm. uh, you must come to Asebu or you can go to our website, look at our, um, our details. In fact, we even have forms mm -hmm. that you have to fill if you want to. If you fill those forms and send it to us, we will begin processing your, your document. And the website you're speaking of is asebuman.com. Yes, okay. asebuman.com. Mm -hmm. But if you happen to be in Ghana, please come straight to Asebu, come to the Paris. We have a secretariat for Pan African Village, and all your needs will be catered for by the secretariat without going through any, any third party. I, I will want to stress that people wanting to come to Ghana to Pan African Village at Asebu should not use third party, uh, third, yes, intermediary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please come straight to us. Our doors are open for you. We have a secretariat that is in charge uh, of all the allocation and everything. Mm -hmm. And we have a team. We are not just one person doing it. We, it's a team working on this project. So we have people on the ground, people doing the survey, people who will show you your plots and people who will take charge of your documentation and hand them over to you. So please deal directly with us. Mm -hmm. either through our website or through mail, um, our email addresses, or even telephone call. If you call, uh, you, uh, they will respond to it, and then we can deal with you. What I've realized is that um, some people are acting as intermediaries mm -hmm. between the Pan-African village and then the people from the diaspora. And I don't know what is happening because people can do people, and I would have no idea. Mm -hmm. that you, you people are dealing with some people. So please, in order to avoid that, I'm saying again that don't use intermediary, anybody, anybody who says that you can get you land and, and, and then charge you for a fee for mm -hmm. do, doing those, I mean, spearheading those processes, don't bind that person. We are not taking any fees for any, come direct to the Paris. All what you will pay is your documentary, and the documentary fees, mm -hmm. uh, which is 1,200. We haven't increased anything. Mm -hmm. I heard some people said uh, <laughs> people are charging $3,000 <laughs> for, for the same piece of land. It's yes, never uh, true. Mm -hmm. We haven't increased it even one, one dollar. Mm -hmm. It's still 1,200. So directly to us, we will, we will help you. Um, you were telling me that that includes the indenturement and, yes. and the farmers. You take care of the farmers yes. and all of that yes. included. Yes. When when we take the 1,200, what we do with it, first of all, we, we have the plan of the area. We, we have to pay for the cost of the plan of the area. Mm -hmm. That I have pre-financed, so we just um, pay for it as, as we go along. And then we, you have to have your indentures. Mm -hmm. First of all, we will give you a receipt. That one is, is not a big deal. But we have to give you an uh, allocation paper. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, which we call an alloc allocation certificate. That we have to uh, prepare for you. And then we prepare your indenture for mm -hmm. you. And then that indenture, you have to have the site plan. Mm -hmm. And then uh, later on, you will do the carastra, but the SAT plan plus the indenture we will give you. Mm -hmm. And all that we pay for because it goes through um, those who will sign and then goes to the, the court. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the high court uh, will have to. So it's proper legal. Uh, yes, sign. yes, by the court. Mm -hmm. And you will see the, the stamp of the court mm -hmm. on it. Uh, meaning that this is a genuine transaction mm -hmm. between you and, and so on. Without that, it's not it's not genuine. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is put all together, we charge, and then we pay compensation to farmers whose crops we are destroying to build the Pan African village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that uh, we pay from here instead of asking um, the one who has acquired a product to pay. I feel that it will be better coordinated and properly done if we take it upon ourselves to pay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we pay that from the 1,200. So in fact, we are not making any profit out of this. Uh, my tradition has, has made a, a huge sacrifice in giving out such lands for, for, for people to come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the thing that I want to advise people to be aware mm -hmm. that we, we are not here to make profit. We are not here to make money. I, I would have decided to say, um, build a place, give it out 
and charge commercial rates. Mm. Yes, I would have done that very easily. Because mm. um, a plot in Ghana, I mean in Cape Coast area uh, like this, should not cost less <coughs> than about fifteen to twenty thousand mm. dollars. Yes, mm. when we, if you we were doing commercial mm. thing, mm. but because. Uh, I promised my president, president of this country, President Kufadu, that I'll give free land. Mm -hmm. That's why we are doing this. And we are just taking the fees for processing of the, 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 the document for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, bring it's a, an amazing initiative. Yes. It is, like you said, to bring our brothers and sisters back home. These days, we have the technology, and everybody can just mm -hmm. capitalize on anything. But it's up to those who are coming to be careful mm -hmm. of whom they are dealing with. Right. Okay. So, I'm saying that if you want to come to Pan African Village, please deal with the Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, we have secretariat, Pan African Village secretariat. Go to our website. You can do everything there. Mm -hmm. Even pay your money um, through the, the bank street. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, even if um, we don't even accept money at, at the secretariat, mm -hmm. uh, we ask you to pay your money. You just bring us the receipts, and then we will begin to process your mm -hmm. documentation. Um, I hear that people say that there are no lands there. It's mm -hmm. not correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have several plots, several plots there, still available for people to to pick yeah. enough than to to go around. Um, I'm sure um, for the commercial lands, it will take us some some years to to for for us to complete uh, filling up. Mm -hmm. We also have industrial areas that we want to those who are coming. Mm -hmm with uh, industrial area, mm -hmm. uh, we can offer them. Mm -hmm. And you see, at, at Pan African Village is well planned mm -hmm. with all the facilities there, mm -hmm. uh, shopping malls, schools, head, uh, head posts, uh, all those things to make living there comfortable mm -hmm. has been planned, police station, um, and all that mm -hmm. are there. So it's a complete community we, we want to build. And um, yes, we are very careful how we're doing those. Um, I've also had, is it, yeah, they said, um, they said there are disputes mm -hmm. over, over there. Yeah, um, a family came up who were claiming some portion of it. It's not, it's not the whole Pan-African mm -hmm. uh, village that we, we, we are doing. Because it's a small portion. Uh, we are dealing with about 5,000 acres or something. Somebody is talking about 100 acres or below mm -hmm. uh, in some corner of, of the of the thing but you see that it's not even possible for the person to win any case against mm -hmm. me is it to be very strange for uh, such a family to win the case mm -hmm. uh -huh. and of course the case is in court and the first part of it we've won the first part of it mm -hmm. uh, they attempted to uh, to press injunction on on where we are working at, at that portion of the bridge but the court said no uh, this project is too important for the country mm -hmm. for him to um, uh, stop it. Yeah, so we have won that, that point. So that the, the second round, the guys will not have any place um, to in the, in the case. So people should forget about whatever case. We are in full control mm -hmm. of our things and we are, we are doing that. And again, I'm saying that uh, even if there's a dispute, it's not dispute about the whole, yes, it's the just, whole a small just a small, yes, mm -hmm. small section of the thing that they are criminal. So, we, we 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 are okay with it. Mm -hmm. So when we when, when you come here, you're supposed to get welcomed. There on the website when we came here, we thought we were going to get all of that. So yeah. that is the correct way when you come here yeah. to deal with you directly yes. with, like, via yes. in person or at on the website. Yeah. And then they show you. It's just not you being thrown no. into the jungle of Africa, no. which is not really a jungle. <laughs> yeah. But you kind of integrate us yes. and show us the way. Yes. You did it that way and put all the fees in there so that for our personal security. Yeah. Yeah. As if you come and you come to the Paris, you'll be properly received mm -hmm. and uh, we will tell you everything. Mm -hmm. And then after you've gone through all the processes, uh, people will take you to the Pan African village mm -hmm. and show you your plot. Mm. Okay, and then you you take it from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's no need going through somebody for you to pay fees to somebody before you come to mm -hmm. us. Uh, I think that uh, people should be aware mm -hmm. of, of that. Um, just about three weeks ago, I received about twenty to twenty-five people from UK. Mm -hmm. Our parents who are in, came here. I received them at my own. I was present myself. Mm -hmm. Received them and then I handed them over to the secretariat, 
and the death of the and they were so happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were dealing directly with us, yes. and not through any. Yes, any part. yes, and if you come as an individual, mm -hmm. probably uh, you just come in and you wanted to do the. Also, come to the Paris. Mm -hmm. If in, if you are a single person coming, come to the uh, the Paris, and you will receive all the support that you need from mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for Thank having me, yes. Chief. I really appreciate you. Fantastic. Yeah. And it Thank was you. a pleasure speaking. Pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. Thanks.